My mother was married to an Samkai, my father. They had five children together. They were really in love. But suddenly, their love started to fall apart. When my mother found out that my father was having an affair, many women kept on phone looking for him. My mother had to give him the messages. My father was also a jealous man who didn't want to see my mother being treated by a man and he had problem with my mother wanting to work. I remember one day my mother came home late from work. My dad accused her of meeting a man. They shouted in front of us and he said she was not a good woman and wife. They continued to have misunderstandings. Mostly my father was the one who held grudges instead of setting the case immediately. That caused more fights. My father lost his job. Things started to get worse. He started blaming my mother, saying she was behind everything. He beat her and locked her in a bedroom. Finally, they separated and we went to live with our grandmother. Few months after I moved in with my grandmother, I met a couple of friends. I started to live my life as if there is no tomorrow, drinking and buying guns. We explore all angles without any fear. I never had a stable partner because we used to share girls with my friends and we never went to school. For us, the clock was ticking. Seconds, minutes, hours and days. Four friends passed away. One was shot down next to me and three others tested HIV positive. The night started to become more dark and I couldn't find my way back home. I thought my soul would never find peace. Then my uncle was released from jail after seven, nine years. When he told me that there is no life in there, that was my wake up call. I left everything and just went back to school. I was introduced to the organization called African Men Health Organization and train as an HIV AIDS counselor. I tested HIV negative and now I have one stable partner. And now I work with men as partners and it's changed my life.